Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about newborn screens. If you're new here, my name is Anna and I'm a critical care registered nurse. I've worked in the NICU for a lot of my nursing career and I've done a lot of newborn screens during that time. I thought I would do a short video for you today on what a newborn screen is and why it's important. A newborn screen is a type of blood test and almost every baby will have a newborn screen done to check for disorders that may not be apparent after delivery. Newborn screens protect infants from the dangerous effects of these disorders that may otherwise go undetected for weeks, months, even years after an infant is born. These disorders may be genetic, metabolic, blood disorders, or hormone related. Newborn screens also test for hearing loss and other critical congenital heart defects. Many of these disorders are incredibly rare, but they can result in serious injury to the brain, organs, nervous system, and even death if they go untreated. While there is no treatment for many of these disorders, if they are detected early and treatment is started immediately, serious problems can be reduced or prevented altogether. This is why every state requires a newborn screen from all newborns, even though the specific tests vary by state. Newborn screens are typically collected between 24 and 48 hours of life. A heel prick is used to collect a sample of blood either in a special vial or on a special piece of paper. The newborn screens are then sent off for testing, and if a newborn screen comes back as positive or abnormal, this means that the patient might only have the disorder further diagnostic testing is required. Remember that newborn screening tests are not diagnostic. They are simply a screen for the newborns that need further testing to determine if they have a disorder. Because newborn screens are a screening test and not diagnostic, they may yield some false positive as well as some false negative results. A false positive result would be a newborn that tested positive for a disorder, but after further follow-up diagnostic testing is determined not to have the disorder. A false negative test would be a newborn who does not screen positive for the disorder, but is later found to have that disorder. I hope this video was helpful and that you are better able to understand and articulate why newborn screens are so important. If you did learn something in this video, please consider liking it and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss content from me in the future.